Hi, this is Amjad, your friendly screencaster. In this video, I'm doing Capto Challenge. I already did a comprehensive review of Capto and said it's the best screen capture app for Mac. But does it do the same with video? You will find out in this video. On this channel, I do how to videos and app reviews just like this one. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Check out the YouTube description for all the links that I talk about in this video. Let's get started. You can start a quality screen recording with Capto. You will have two options, either to do a full screen recording or selective area recording. I will go with record full screen for this video. Once you selected your preference, you will get more option to choose from. You can record audio from your computer, capture audio from your microphone. You can choose the mic you will like to use. You can do external mic also. If you like to do a talking head, you can record your webcam. If you want, you can hide or show cursor during a recording. I would like to keep this option check. If you check highlight mouse clicks, if you check the highlight mouse clicks, it will show you each mouse click you made and make it more stand out. At the very last, you can select frame rates. One of the things I love about Capto, it can do 60 frames per second. It's very important if you want buttery smooth videos. If you look at very closely, there are more options that you can customize. You can hide your desktop background or use a custom one. I would like to keep mine as default one. Once everything is set, hit the record and start recording. Once you're done with recording, it will save the video in the capto. I this random clip recording for this demonstration purposes. Now let's take a deep dive into the video editing part. Here you have simple video editing interface, nothing overwhelming. Here you can see your video, timeline and editing options available on the left. And you can also see the video we recorded. From here you have the ability to add or import more videos if you want. Let's check out the added tools. Here you can cut, crop and trim the video. The cut option is to cut a certain part of the video. You can do a very precise cut if you add the timestamp and cut it. Or you can use your mouse to adjust the part you want to cut. You can use the keyboard shortcut delete to cut or delete the unwanted part. The crop options help you to crop your video. You can set a resolution if you know the specific value or do the manual adjustment using your mouse. The trim option will help you to trim the beginning and the end of the video. That's all for the editing tools. Let's jump to the annotation part. I like the annotation features in Capto. If you do a lot of annotations in your video, you will love these features. What can you do? You can add marker, arrow, callouts, text, and my favorite, add a blur. You can adjust all these elements in the timeline as required. Adding annotations is very easy and flexible in Capto. On the audio section, you can change the volume of your video or completely mute it. Add fade in and fade out. That's mostly it. This is the area where Capto really needs to improve to compete with screen flow and Camtasia. For me, one of the major downside is that you can't import all your track, meaning you can't add background music or if you capture your audio separately and you want to add that audio, then you're out of luck. This is the feature that I've requested the developers to add in the future updates of Capto. Once your masterpiece is ready, you can export your video to .mov or .mp4 and you can select the resolution or the device you want to export for. The overall video quality is quite good, no complaints at all. There are some shortfalls to capture video editing capabilities. One of them is the inability to add additional audio tracks. Especially for a person like me, I do my audio captures and editing separately, hoping future versions will improve on the audio side. There are some advanced features that are lacking also, but you can't expect too much from a $30 app, right? It does a lot already for a very small price. Now the question is, can you screencast like a pro with Capto and should you buy it? Well the answer is you should buy it regardless you screencast or not because it's one of the best screen capturing tool and image editor. So you can buy it just for the image capturing capabilities. 
But if you do screen casting casually and doesn't require much advanced editing, then Capto is a buy. But if you do screen casting professionally and most of the video requires advanced editing, then the answer is no. For that I would advise check out Screenful. It is $1.99 but has many advanced features. And yeah, I do all my screen casting videos on Screenful. Question of the day. What is the best screen casting app for Mac? Please answer in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.